Grab your plate. Grab your plate. So um, let's first do four holes in the corners. So we know that the, the holes on the frame are six inches apart. So go, the idea is get them equal on the tops because the frame holes are pretty much equal on the top. So get them equal, uh, do it half an inch in, half an inch against the wood. So go half an inch or close, close to that. Yeah, okay, so you kind of like around it with your fingers, but don't rip your fingers. There, like that. So four holes, four holes for the corners. This is to mount it to the frame. That's it. Everybody got it? Four holes? Four holes. Four holes. Uh, you want a small, looking at the machine from the left-hand side, this is going to be your controller. Your mm -hmm. little Arduino is going to be here. Our this was just this screen is going to be here, okay. like here, and then the MOSFET is going to be there. So this one's going to go mounted against the edge. On the edge here, we're going to drill one hole and one hole. So I'll just do that. Where? Um, maybe like right there. So watch, watch me do that. So I got that. That's my power supply pattern. The idea for the ones I'm drilling right now, they have to be above the body to make it easier for you. You can still get it if it's, what I mean, above the body. So, those big ones here, they're above, just a little bit above, so it's easier to thread through. Later. Oh, right. Otherwise, I mean, you can still do it, but it'll be a little harder get the orientation correct. So we are facing like this, right? Like that. So that, does this make sense, this orientation? When you're looking at the panel, right? Keeping that, I'm gonna thread the first hole. So do exactly what I did. Put, the, put that all the way in. And the way the zip tie goes, the you go through the flat side. You'll see the zip ties, they go through the flat side. But you can, you have all this to play with. You got play, and then you just thread it, but do it loose for now. Don't don't tighten it all the way. So what I would do is just attach it. Keep the play. So do that. Attach it, uh, and then you're gonna continue with the four other ones. So is that the bottom? Keep the it just about that because we, we're gonna, you know, if you. If you get this super tight, I mean, you're gonna have trouble getting the ladder one. So just do this right now, right now. What are these two Go all the way through, and then you're gonna thread it through. Once again, just like on the top there. There you go. And then you have the other hole because you can't really go through the same hole. So you're gonna then go back. Did you And I did not. I did not. I thread through. There. So this is what you're doing. Well, did you say one should be above the Yeah, this one is above the body. Like it's a little bit, these holes are above the edge. But they could, I mean, they could be, actually they could be anywhere. Okay. Thanks for teaching me that. <laughs> they could be anywhere, because as long as they're along that length. Right, in the ribs. Yeah. Okay, what did they do? I did it wrong, I did the ribs of the, I gotta catch the ribs. So push it through the hole. Uh, so you take a plug, and you want to, I'll clip off the, the, there's a little piece of thread in this plastic, so just snip it off with scissors. So just kind of twist around, then you, So 
expose the soldering wire. So the one I, I twisted around, put some solder on it. So you touch both the wire and the solder at the same time so they're both hot and they melt into each other. So you, once again you do that on the second one. Touch, touch both the wire and the solder at the same time. So basically you're, you're getting them all all bound up in a bunch so they not they don't fray and possibly short circuit across your power supply. Because you'll get like a little spark and fire hazard. And this is one of those things you need three hands for. Typically they have uh, like a little uh, little clip holder so you put that in there and then you have two more hands to do this. So that's that. That part you, you can leave the iron here it's hot so you don't put it on the table. It'll melt the plastic tables. Here I'm going to cut off, cut off the excess that I had the, this little thread and the rest of the plastic. And then we're ready simply to screw it on to the terminals. I have a little screw, little screwdriver, flathead or or star bit will do. Not star, but the regular Phillips head. So that these three terminals away from the light side. So you loosen the terminals. And stick your wires in there. So let's do the green one in the ground. <laughs> so they go into the side underneath the screw. Uh, just bottom out. If you have about this much, they bottom out perfectly well in there. Uh, you don't want to have metal exposed here because, you know, potentially you can cross wires there. So the plastic should be, be behind this plastic separator between the two. So just tighten it down. And then black, we're going to say black for hot. Black is hot. Okay. That, that sounded like some authority. <laughs> so we're going to do black. And, I, and black hot would be line, and neutral is going to be, which is N, that's going to be the middle one. So you, you need to do this, and that's your power supply. This is ready for powering up your system. All the other terminals are 12 volts. So there's three of them that are negative 12 volts, and three of them that are positive 12 volts. You can see on a, six of them total. On the side you'll see model 36012, so 12 is the 12 volts. Uh, make sure you have 12 volts, which, I mean, they're all 12. 360 watts is the total power, so you get 30 amps, 12 volts out of this kind of power supply. It works either on 120 or 240. There's a, there's a plug here that, there's a little switch here. You can switch it to 220 or switch it to 110. Leave it alone. It's set preset at 110. So that's a power supply. So everybody can do that. There's the wire strippers here. We have more. I'll bring down a second set. This set of wire strippers, does that work? Has anyone used these? Yeah. No? Uh, the way these work, they should also grab the wire to do that. So here we cut, once again, cut the, the, the wrong side. Okay, strip it down. Two inches. Once again, expose them. Okay, let's take let's take one of them. I haven't really used this one, so does it work? So you'll put it in the mouth. It grabs it, and then it has a blade behind it that kind of pulls back. So let's see if that works. Sure does. This is everything related to the controller. And surprisingly, this actually has a nice manual on the inside. 3D printer kit, user's manual, and it includes the controller, the screen, the ramps board, and a lot, of, a lot of little parts. These are your tiny little stepper drivers the, that are boxed individually. So open one of those up. Um, they have two pieces. 
One is a little heat sink. It's got a piece of adhesive on the back. It's a tiny heat sink. So you can expose these. There's a piece of sponge on the back. Take that off to expose the, the leads. For the heat sink, take off the plastic, uh, the peel for the adhesive, and then stick on the, the heat sink. And ideally, if the board is sitting vertically, these are like that, you would like the grooves to go up and down so airflow can go up and down. Convection goes up and down. So I'm not sure if it matters at all. But convection says, yeah, you should get the, the lines vertically up so that air, airflow can go up. When you put this on, make sure you don't touch the other pins. Put it just on that black. Uh, it, it, that's the little chip in there, and that's, that's what gets hot in there, so that needs cooling. Make sure you don't touch the pins on the side or the, there's a little screw, s screw place, little screw below. Don't touch that either. That will be conductive too. So there's how many of those? Five. Five total. So let's talk about the Ar well, <clears throat> the base was the Arduino board. This is the Arduino Mega. It's a clone. Uh, if you get it out of the box, uh, this one's kind of got bent pins a little bit. Just straighten everything out so it's in line. And the ramps board, the RepRap Arduino Mega Pololu Shield goes on top. So open up. your electronics box. Peppers. I'm just gonna put on the right heat here sink. Then. So can you try and do some of it in that um, space? Yep, got Martin, it. Yep. For all the fall along you need to put your table so we fall out you do while watching you. Uh how? So how? How's that sound to people? Yeah. Okay. So for the first step, expose that one stepper driver uh, to, to get this and the heat sink going out on it vertically. Open up that box, take off the little plastic scumbag and <laughs> let's get a little uh, waste container in the middle. Let's get an empty box for waste maybe. Scrap stuff. So get to this point here, put on one heat sink on one of the steppers and then just repeat that four times. Yeah, it's connect it gets connected onto the little black square. Okay. Center it on a black square, but do not touch the other pins. Help, help somebody, get experience, help me. <laughs> there, so open up all five of them because we need five of them. Orientated vertically, you said? Orientated vertically, if we know what vertical is. If we have a shared definition of vertical. No, do what? So, in line with the there. In line with the long edge of the rectangle. I like that. Like this. It goes like this to convection air currents. Air will rise through the fence and sit and stop. Does it snap on? No, it's, no it's, 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 there's a little steam uh, pad on the back. Uh, 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 yeah, you peel it off. It's a paper backer. Stick it on the mic. So That's correct. Yeah. Scissors or razor? There's some scissors somewhere. Where are the scissors? Okay, scissors. Yeah. Yeah, don't touch the pins on the side. Yeah, do all of them because we'll five. just pick five. Okay. Don't throw out the heat sinks. I just threw one out. Yep. Uh, farther away from the pin. Okay. The 
screw. There's a screw, screw, t screw thing. Looks like a screw, a screwdriver. Goes in there. Don't touch that either. Yeah, vertical. 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 Yeah, uh, and the pins. Not that. I just feel like there's a solder dot here that might be. I can't see it. I hope so. Yeah, you solder can do dot. That. Yeah. Into that corner. Oh, yeah. Are you talking about the pins? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta make sure, make sure the heat sink doesn't touch the pins. Make sure the little piece of metal you attach and touch the pins on the side. Oh, it'll get a little bridge current. So that's uh, a resistor. Should, well, the, should be uh, okay. If, if it's not, yeah. we'll know. It'll just, it might fry, but no, I don't think it's okay, touching. Fry. Yeah. Okay. So, who's got five? Take off the little, little white stuff off of two. Take the, the styrofoam. Uh, we're putting these right on. So open up your other, other big box. That's the ramps shield. So open up your Arduino, open up your ramps shield. Now stick the begin sticking in your stepper drivers into the shield. How do you do that? The screw terminal faces down if the plug is facing up. Face the plug up. Plug is the green. Plug comes out. And stick it back in. Just to show you, holding it vertically, begin sticking in your your stepper drivers. The, there's five of them; they're all identical. So they they go into the long rows, the long black rows, above those red, yellow, and blue pins. And first, check that you have those red, yellow, and blue pins in place. Does everyone have them? Those. So between the two parallel rows of black are three colored pins. You should all have them, yeah. Those control how many steps the micro stepping settings. With those three jumpers, they're little jumpers, you can actually take them out. Those jumpers make it 16 micro stepping, but they should be there. Otherwise, you're not going to get motion like the rest of us if you don't have those. So now the screw side on your stepper driver faces down. Down means away from the green plug. So, so like this. Right. So snap it in to place. It should snap right in. Okay. And snap in on the two parallel rails because the we, uh, we the pins. I don't think everybody has all the heat sinks on yet. Okay. Everyone heat sinks. Heat sink. Is there an up or down? The same one. Yeah. 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 Goes away yeah. from the green. Yeah. The pins all face down. There's this little weird port which is yeah. thing goes goes like this. Yeah. So Alex, yes, help sir. help people finish with okay. what's not finished. And all of these so are identical. Somebody's right? yeah, they're all identical. So whoever finishes with all the no, steppers help others. Get these things to come in properly. Yeah, we need to take something and bend it back out so we use like a little screwdriver or something put your garbage in out of the way thank you you're welcome Okay, so keep going. And put five of them in. 
With a screw, just, screw just facing down. down. Screw facing down. So they should just snap in. They should just snap in, so screw facing screw down. See that round thing? It goes okay. Over. This is the top. Snap them all in. They just, just go right in. Anyone have issues with that? There's that little circular screw thing right below the heat sink. No. No spacing between. They go right next to each other. That circle thing No spacing like that. Okay, screw facing down. So now, uh, next, let's take your Arduino. So, everyone, show me your. Hold up your board, and you have your pins facing down. Yep. That looks good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next, take your take your board, your Arduino Mega, and we can superpose what we just made onto it. Just check that all your pins yeah. on the back are straight. If any is bent, bend it back into vertical. And then... Oh yes, and also on the Arduino itself, the pin headers, they may not be vertically straight up, so bend them straight up. You basically have a full line of pins you need a line of sockets to make them go in. And so there will be two empty things, right? So you, you match up the corner. Right, so match up. How do you match it up? Let's match up the two rows on the bottom of the... If you look at the, the double row mm -hmm. on the bottom of the ramps board, stick that into the double header on the bottom of the Arduino and use that to, to go from there. So put those in first, kind of uh, punch it down, and continue just to superpose them. I have to press down quite a bit. Um, but just kind of like evenly all around, get them in there until they bottom out. Plastic to plastic. So. If they won't bottom out because of the back? Of the back? Where on the phone jack or? It is. It should be flat. Yeah, there's a little bit. If that is minimal. That's minimal, and the board's bent. I can force it to get it. Yeah. String back apart. Right. Um, I see what you're saying, and I think that's acceptable. Just okay. do it. Oh, this is too far, though, right? Yeah, it's, oh, so make, touch the black to black. Oh, okay. I was just being too general with it. Okay. Okay. So once we have that, uh, we actually don't need to worry about sticking in the, well, we can open up the belts for the, the LCD screen. It doesn't really have to go in yet because it's easier to work without it. The thing we can plug in, well, yeah, there is this one, the plug itself. We do want to plug that into the ramps. Uh, so take out the L-shaped plug. And plug it into the white row on the bottom of the, the ramps. Does that make sense? The plug sticking out, sticking upwards. So there, there it is. That's the plug for the LCD screen. So do like one hole here, one one edge hole, second edge hole, and then the opposite sides. 
So, so these are two, the two side holes. And then, it doesn't have to be super precise because these are um, zip ties and they, they're flexible. But on the inner part, on the insides, okay, this one's not working for me. On the insides, you always want to have two holes because you cannot thread through one hole if you're inside. So say I did that one here, another one next to it, this one here, another one next to it, and then a single one here and there because we're on the edge. One. Currently unemployed, I think. Yeah, all right, yeah. good. Yeah. About halfway through, halfway aligned as far as the six inch height, just halfway in between the six inch space. Marston? Okay. Hold, typically hold around the hole so you get so you don't get any breakage. If you had a little crack over there. The X's or the hole, circle? The circle and then the X on the outside. Okay. Circle a little higher. MOSFET is next and there, there is a special requirement for it. It has to reach to the Arduino using the small cable provided, otherwise you're going to be extending the cable which is extra work. But to make it happen we can take, take our current design, we've got the Arduino that we mounted just about halfway in between. We want to make it close enough here, so facing up, the, I guess the white, white plug facing up, but such that when you plug in the little wire, that little wire goes into uh, that's that's D10. That's that's a tenth. That would be the heat bed. Normally, well, no, I forget which one, but it's one of these three. It has to be close enough that it. Uh, somebody tell me which one is it? Is it the white wires? Was my model? Can somebody look at which of the D gates eight, nine, or ten? The heat bed is. I believe that is. Eight. Eight? Okay, eight. So so these little wires have to reach all the way to the 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 terminal set closest to the plug. So put that don't put it here, it won't reach. Put it as close as possible so it reaches. And also there's power wires coming from the power supply into here, so the closer the better. So just like that. And the holes, therefore, uh, I see opp opportunity for two holes. So once again look on the back. And the power supply is going to get pinched down. Uh, I'm going to pinch that down right now so it drops low. I can pinch that down here. Okay, just about like that. Uh, we can do two or three holes. I think two will probably be good enough. So let's try. Let's try two. And that'll be. It'll kind of be. Possibly will be good. I'm gonna actually do three, so we get triple. So low here, one through. So these ones once again have to have two holes, and I'm gonna do one on the edge here for grab one of these. So let's drill through that. And here you wanna. When you're holding this, since now you have the cable ties down there, you kind of have to make sure you're pre pressing against the wood still, otherwise you're going to 
be cracking things, so it's actually getting a little challenging here. In which case, maybe I go like this, or somehow. Oh yeah, like that. That works. All the holes are exposed. Can somebody hold it? You got it. Nope. This one is okay. This one's completely drifting on me. Uh, let's get let's get this one. So I'm holding down with my fingers so it doesn't bump up and do a break. Okay, so that's my five holes, and let's see if we can attach it in a reasonable way. So I'll start with the, the bottom ones, and once again, the head goes on the back side, so it's, everything's on the back side. Head on the back side. and then poke it back through. Let's see what happens when I pinch it down. Okay, you wanna, yeah, start with the head all the way through when you do it, so then you can actually just tighten it like right away. So it's nice to have, drop the head all the way through to the bottom. A little white wire. And back through. And then through the head. Okay, so I'm seeing two working like this, you know. It's like that. I probably I probably want to use the third one. So once again, head all the way. Like that. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's decent. I mean, you could do four. I think three is okay. I mean, there's no force on this or anything. So, okay. say cut the wires. Uh, don't cut it. <laughs> this is... Um, now you're gonna... This works. However, now the power wires have to go around further to here. Well, just a little more distance further. That's... I mean, that's not too bad. I think the wires will still fit. They'll still fit. Otherwise, these terminals would be here, so you got just a little closer distance. Just leave it. Uh, but uh, but I would I would suggest do it the other way. The wires on top, you got to go into there, so that still fits. Okay, that's so good. D N. Yeah. And the next step after that, let's tin these wires and put them into, actually stick them in there. So we're gonna go as soon as you've got that, solder station, tin it, slip it in. These are stranded, so they're gonna fray. Well, I think they already might be, they look like they're tinned, let's see what happens if we just get them in. So yeah, I think we can just put them, yeah, let's just try, try to put them right in uh, with a little screwdriver. So one of these, these screwdrivers, the small ones work. So loose, loosen the terminals. The question is now which, which goes which. So I believe the, the solid one is the positive one. And can we see any labels? No, we don't. I see a positive label on this white one. Um, so I'm gonna believe that that's true. There's a positive sign on the white wire. Can you see it? There's a tiny little positive on, the, on that right-hand side there. And that's, that's next to the, this positive on the right-hand side. So, uh, this positive wire, which is on the right-hand side here, goes on the right-hand side here. So I'm just gonna stick that in and clamp it down there.
and there. And you all the Done. The last step is the screen. Take out the screen. Note that the screen has an SD card on the left hand side. So you need to leave enough room between whatever you have on, a, on here. So don't put it right next to the, the MOSFET. Put it as, as far back as convenient, but don't cover the hole on the edge. So here you're gonna be sticking your SD card in and out. And is that gonna to be too high up? Well, if you look at the small printer, It goes underneath, so that will just fit. It's easier to fit on the larger machines because they're taller. So get this down as far as possible towards the, the power supply. In fact, get it all the way down to it because that's, that will clear the axis the most easily. So the holes in the back, so once you have that, two holes in the back, I think that's all we can do. Then the SD card reader rides over the top. We can only mark those two holes that are there. And we can pinch that down. So what I would do is, we got the hole. And then maybe down and down. So you're holding it, you know, tight, like more towards the bottom. Yep. Okay. So those two holes. Once again, them down. Okay, and then zip tight on. That goes all the way through and drop it through and then back under. Punch it down. Punch down the head so it's tight. And that's it. So now we have the screen on. Like that. Finished product.